guys, Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana. And you know, recently I received a few inquiries from you that you wanted to have an update about an animal that not many of you have seen here at the zoo. This little critter, oh, right? I mean, so cute. This is Bandy, the three-banded armadillo. And recently I've gotten a lot of notes that people didn't even know we had her, of all things. But let's talk about them because they are an incredible species. Now, as the name suggests, three-banded armadillo, she's got literally three bands. One, two, three and three, and that's where they get the name. There's also a nine-banded armadillo, and there's like 30 different species of armadillos out there. By the way, the biggest one is called giant armadillo, up to five feet long, it's incredible. But the three-banded, one of the smaller ones, and these guys are found out in Argentina, Brazil, down in South America. But of course, what makes these guys so incredible is their ability to roll into a ball. In fact, they are the only armadillo species that can roll into a complete ball. All the other ones, they can only go about halfway. But what that does is that allows her to completely defend herself from predators and she fits together like a jigsaw puzzle it is just amazing to see now the other thing is, is that even though they can roll into a complete ball they do of course still have to worry about predators so first of all there are animals like alligators and some of the big cats out there that can actually chew through her 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 uh, uh, plate there that protective plate but she's got a really neat adaptation that helps her know when predators are near and that's all these little hairs they're like sensory hairs, kind of like whiskers on a cat. And they're so sensitive that she can actually feel the breath of an animal. So when she's in a ball and she can't see, she can sense if that animal is near simply by those sensory hairs sticking out of her shell. It's so amazing. Now on top of that, you're gonna notice her cute little mouth. She is related to ant eaters of all things. So she does have a long sticky tongue that allows her to slurp up things like ants and, and uh, termites, things like that. And then she's got these incredible long claws that allow her to dig. Now she's very excited. She wants to get down and walk. So we're gonna let her walk here in just a minute so you can see how neat they are. But one final Final thing I like to mention about these animals is the fact that they are one of the only animals that can carry leprosy. In fact, the nine-banded armadillo in particular can carry leprosy. So if you ever see one out and about, it's a pretty gross disease, you don't want to touch them because they can actually transmit that leprosy to humans of all things. But nonetheless, what an incredible animal. Take a look at her walking. Watch how she walks almost on these high heels. She really doesn't even look real when she walks. She kind of looks like a pill bug or a potato bug. Just an incredible little animal, incredible sense of smell. So you're gonna see her stop and smell just about every place that she goes. But my gosh, what a neat animal. She is in our Discovery Center here at the zoo. Do look for her um, because it's kind of fun to watch for her in her home. She likes to hide under the log, but she's out quite a bit. But again, guys, Bandy, the three-banded uh, three armadillo, what an incredible animal, and I want you to make sure you come and see her in person. Guys, until next time, I'm Jeff the Nature Guy here at Zoo Montana.